Today we're joined by someone who's very close to our fine town, Olympic gold medalist Nastia Lukin, who will be back in front of all of us soon at the Rio Olympics in a different capacity this time. Good morning, Nastia. You have to be excited to be going to Rio, and now you're a sportscaster. Tell us about what all you have going on there. Yeah, I'm so excited to be heading to Rio, so I'll actually be commentating for NBC, um, covering all the gymnastics, and then of course I'm really fortunate enough to be able to work with great companies like Coca-Cola, and this year going into the Olympics, they have a great campaign with the hashtag of That's Gold, and so of course one of my happiest and proudest moments of my career was when I won that gold medal in 2008 at the Olympics, but it really goes beyond the podium, and that's what we're encouraging everybody to do, is share photos and videos of, of their happiest moments on social media with the hashtag of that's gold. So how's the USA Gymnastics team looking? They look great. So the, you know, the star kind of going into the Olympic Games is Simone Biles. She um, could come away with five Olympic gold medals, which is pretty incredible. And then you have Gabby Douglas and Allie Raisman, who were part of the 2012 team that won the gold medal in the team competition. And of course, Gabby is the reigning Olympic all-around champion. Um, and then you have Lori Hernandez, who is a first-time senior athlete. She's going to be also I think a breakout star of the Olympics and Madison Koshin who of course is from Dallas and one of my teammates and uh, I've known her since I was three years old so I'm really excited for her. And how often are you in Dallas these days? Gosh, well, I'm not really in one place for too long, it seems, this past summer and, you know, leading into the Olympic Games, but I try to get home as much as possible. My parents still live there, and uh, I'll, I'll be heading home this week for a few days to see my parents before I head off to Rio. I know a lot of girls are looking up to you and have for years. What do you tell them when they say they want to go to the Olympics? Well, the most important thing is to make sure that you love it and that you have a passion for, and so I think it's important to find something that you do have a passion for. For me, it was gymnastics ever since I was a little girl. And, and to never, ever give up on a bad day. That's something that my mom always told me. So, um, you know, it's, it's such an exciting time to be able to see these girls' dreams come true. Do you miss doing this? Um, I miss performing, but I'm still really excited to be able to be involved in the sport and, and to be going to the Olympics. Well, what else are you working on these days? So I just graduated from NYU, um, which was definitely a huge um, goal of mine ever since I retired from gymnastics. So um, then I got engaged last summer as well. So I'll be planning a wedding and then I'll be heading on a 35 city tour with USA Gymnastics, both performing and hosting. So I know we will make a stop in Dallas at American Airlines and um, I'm really looking forward to it. Wow, congratulations. Sounds like everything is going great for you. Have a great time in Rio and we'll see you back in Dallas soon. Thank you so much for having me. It was great talking to you.